Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in wa ba'd. So in a previous video uh, that I did, uh, I spoke about the different books of, uh, of Tawheed. And we mentioned uh, the Rasulullah Thalatha, Al-Qawad al-Arba, Nawakad al-Islam, Kitab al-Tawheed, and books like that. And of course, uh, I put the, mo uh, the major emphasis on the, that the people should memorize Kitab al-Tawheed. Uh, I still have not done the video in regards to the books of Al Aqidah, and inshallah, we, uh, inshallah, that will get done. Uh, but right now, what I want to talk about is a book that I did not mention. When I when I spoke about the memorization of the books of Tawheed, I mainly chose the books that I chose because of the availability of those books. But that does not mean that uh, these are like uh, the most uh, how could you say the most comprehensive books. And uh, so, what I want to talk about today, inshallah, in this video, is the book that I actually do see as being one of the more comprehensive books as far as like uh, just comprehensive in the fact that it, it, it covers all the main chapters of Tawheed, Tawheed al-Rububiyya, Tawheed al-Uluhiyya, wa Tawheed al-Asma'i wa Sifat, and also it covers all the main chapters of Al-Aqidah, which, uh, you know, if you go and you read through like Lum uh, al-Tiqad, you read through Al-Tahawiyya, you read through Al-Wasatiyya, you find all these main chapters, that, you know, that are constantly uh, coming up and, and you have to memorize the Adilla, obviously. So with uh, Al-Wasatiyya, the majority of the was uh, al aqida to Wasatiyya was mainly focusing on Asma'i wa Sifat. And you see that Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, he dedicated the first, uh, maybe close to the first half of the book, uh, to Ayat, Ayat al Quraniya, dealing with the Asma'i wa Sifat, so he can establish these Qawaid. And of course he went into more detail in the, of the Qawaid of Al-Asma'i wa Sifat in his book uh, Risalat al-Tadmuriya which is a risala to the people of Tadmur, which is a very, very, very beautiful book. It's not a book for the beginners. Uh, if a person is uh, still trying to, like, basically, you know, learn the basic basics of his religion, uh, Tadmuriya is not one of those books for a person, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a heavy book. It's a very, very heavy heavy book. Uh, Sheikh Uthaymin, he did do an explanation of that book, however, and uh, alhamdulillah, he did a good job at making it, a lot, uh, a lot easier. Uh, Sheikh Abdul Rahman Al Barak also did an explanation of uh, Tadmuri. Uh, many of the ulama have done different uh, explanations of it, but uh, I'm just dealing with the, the two, from my opinion, the two best explanations. Uh, uh, Sheikh Abdul Rahman Al Barak, he, he, mashallah, he broke down the, uh, the 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 terminologies of the philosophers, and the way that he broke them down and explained them is probably a better book to start with when you get to that level. But like I said, this is. This is like, that's later on. But that's, uh, like a lot of the Qawaid, and the, the rules that you see in uh, Sheikh Uthaymin's book, Al Qawaid al Mufla, this is like, you read Tad Moriya and you'll find it. You'll find a lot of those Qawaid. So that's one of the, those books are like more dedicated towards the Asma wa Sifat. And of course, the Tahawiyya, you see, if you go through like a Tahawiyya, you have more, more chapters covering the different Abuab of Al Aqidah. And that's why you see like the people they have, uh, a lot of ihtimam, like a lot of care with this with this book, and you see uh, with the best explanation, uh, probably one of the best explanations out of all the books in the Aqidah, One of the best explanations, again, I reiterate, is uh, the, the the Shah of Ibn Abi Az, which is a Shah of a Tahawiyah, which is a beautiful Shah. But all of these abwab, all these chapters that are covered in these books, obviously you have to memorize Adilla. So. Uh, you know, in the past, what we used to do is, you know, you take these classes, you take notes, and the, and the teacher, he presents you with all, all the adilla, you write it out in a notebook, and you memorize it. So the people, and, and this, this of course, this occurred in Damage, and I'm pretty sure it occurred in other places, and I'm pretty sure uh, students from Saudi, they probably have a book similar to this, and book, you know, in other countries maybe. But I'm, I'm just dealing with what I know, which was in Yemen. So one of the students, uh, he was a teacher also, he was a main, one of the main teachers of the books of Tawheed and Al-Aqidah at the time, was Muhammad ibn, uh, ibn Hizam. And uh, what he did is he, he noticed that all these, all these ahadith, they kept being repeated throughout all the different books of Al-Aqidah. So he said, look, I'm going to take a book, I'm going to take and I'm going to compile all these ahadith into one book. Because the people were asking him for this, you know, what book can we go? We just want like one book that we can go and teach all the, the people, all the issues, all, all together, with all the adillah. Without, you know, so this way it makes it easier for the people. And this is where he ended up writing and compiling this book. Of course, the, this book is called Al-Mukhtar Min Ahadith Sayyid Al-Abarar Fi Mu'atakad Al-Sahih. Alright, so this book is a, is a compilation of only the authentic ahadith 
uh, narrations from not just uh, not just from only the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, but also narrations from the Sahaba in regards to all the different affairs of uh, Al Aqidah. So he uh, he starts off with the first uh, first couple of chapters or all the chapters dealing with uh, Tawheed Al Uluhiyya and uh, mainly Tawheed Al Asma'i Wa Sifat. Some of some some things about Tawheed Al Rububiyyah because obviously the majority of the people. Illa, illa, you know, except for maybe a very, very few from amongst the, uh, like the atheists or anything like that, they actually do not believe in a robobia. So, so here, like, uh, those are the first chapters, and then after that, once he covers those chapters, then he goes through the Arakan al Iman, which is, uh, you know, of course, it came in the Hadith of Jibril, in which the Prophet, when he was asked about Iman, the Prophet sallallahu responded, and took billahi wa malaikati wa kutubi wa wa yawm al akhir, akhir wa took bil qadri khayr wa sharri. So he went through all these different abwab. So he goes through the, you know, the Sharat al-Sa'ad. He goes through all the different, uh, you know, the first, well, he goes first off, not the Sharat al-Sa'ad, sorry. He goes through the Iman, uh, you know, the uh, Iman bar Rusul. He goes through the Malaika, the Qutub, and all this. He has a chapter specifically for the Hadith dealing with, uh, with the Qadr and the narrations of the Sahaba dealing with the Qadr. And, uh, you know, so, and then uh, uh, Sharat al-Sa'ad. And all this is probably... One of the, I mean, honestly, if it were more available, this would be the the book that I push the most as far as like memorization. And uh, in the Telegram group, I also uploaded the book as a PDF. And uh, 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 there is a translation that was done uh, with a uh, with a group of brothers. Uh, I I know who they are. You know, I, I, my role in the translation very 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 small. Very very small, but there's uh, two other brothers that really really had a they, that was the they played the major role of the translation of the book, and translated like ninety nine point five percent of it. I probably had a role in like point zero five percent of the book, but uh, the translation I think is available if I'm not mistaken. But I don't know I don't know what the the translation the name how they translated, it. but the actual name of this book is Al Mukhtar Min Ahadith Sayyid Al Abrar. So anybody that is uh, that goes and follows and follows me on Telegram, on my Telegram channel. I uploaded the PDF to that, so you can see that. And like I said, this this is just it's a beautiful book. It's a beautiful book. And uh, even when I just recently, because uh, I'm reading it now for the second time, so I'm like uh, almost I'm about I'm almost finished with reading it the second time through, and uh, just to, to go back and just reread all the hadith in the book. And it's just a long time. It's, it's an amazing book. It covers so many different chapters and so many different, you know, and just the hadith that he brings and the way that he brought them. And, and you know, and he, he taught, he actually taught this in uh, the match before he left uh, from the match. And, uh, and mashallah, his, his lessons on this book were amazing. And even he mentions in the lessons why he chose certain narrations over other narrations in the book. And, uh, you know, it, even towards the end of the book, uh, in the later chapters of where he has like, you know, the chapters on uh, following the sunnah. Uh, he has chapters, you know, that, uh, you know, like a uh, warning against the people following other than the, and the guidance of the Quran and the sunnah. And he has, uh, you know, the fadail of the sahaba, the khilafah, you know, like, you know, going and showing all the different hadith about showing that Abu Bakr, then, then Umar, then Uthman, then Ali, which of course uh, is uh, basically a refutation of the, the Shia. He has a chapter here on, you know, the Awlad al fitra the people that died before they reached the age of puberty, and they died on the fitra which means that they, that their parents didn't enter them into any type of religion, and so they died just on the fitra without being entered into uh, the fitra And you got a chapter here on Wala wal Bara. Uh, you have Al uh, Iman bil Ghaib, and all this and. Uh, the Ta'ifat al Najiyat al Mansura, Mulazam al Tahadi al Salaf, Al Hirus ala Adam al Akhtilaf, Al Tahdir min al Julus ma al Mubtadi'at wa Jidalihim, and all these beautiful chapters. And he even has a whole chapter on uh, the uh, impermissibility of uh, fighting against the uh, Muslim rulers and uh, the fitna of, of the Khawarij, which of course that whole chapter becomes a reputation on the Khawarij and the things that we've been discussing in previous videos. So Allah Musta'an, this is, this is, this is, uh, uh, like I said, the only thing that I can tell the people is to go on the Telegram, uh, my Telegram channel, and you can, you can download the PDF, which is the the PDF that I put up, if I'm not mistaken, because I took it from Muhammad ibn Hizam's Telegram. It's the third edition. This is what I have in my hand is the second edition 
This is I brought this with me from uh, from overseas. So the third edition now is what it, but it, it's not available. I tried to contact bookstores in Saudi Arabia, and uh, they they sold out of it, so they don't have it currently. The only thing that you can get right now is a PDF, and the, the lack of availability is why I haven't mentioned this book before. But because like now with, with all these different issues, and I found myself going back to this book so much, then I realized like you know the the value of this book, the value, the great great value of this book. And, uh, and that's something that I want to share with everybody. So you can get the PDF and you can start benefiting from that. Alhamdulillah, you can start to take chapters out and start memorizing them. Uh, you know, if you're know, if, if you trying to like study like uh, Asul al-Thalatha or Kitab al-Tawheed, you could take just the first couple chapters out. You print them out. It's probably, I think maybe if I can see here. So the first chapter is the Arkan al-Iman al-Islam. All right. And then it goes to Tawheed al Tawheed Allah Azza wa Jal Tawheed al Uluhiyya. Then it goes to Dhikr al Amur al Munafi al Tawheed. These are the things that cause your Tawheed to become uh, invalid or, or, you know, that also weaken or invalidate your, the, the person's Tawheed. All right, and then uh, he, got, uh, he has a Tawheed al Rububiyya wa Asma'i wa Sifat. So these, this chapter covers the Rububiyya and some of the Asma'i wa Sifat. And then after that, he has a whole chapter right here Dhikr al Ba'd al Ahaditha wa Ridati this Sifat. So this is like only dealing with the uh, the sifat, the ahadith that come with the sifat, and this, uh, and then uh, after that you have tawhid al rasul bil mutabaa. So the first part is dealing with, of course, la ilaha illallah, and in this chapter right here, tawhid al rasul bil mutabaa is dealing with Muhammad al Rasulullah. So you have that, and then uh, that goes up into hadith number ninety. Then after that it goes into the arkan al iman. So it goes into al iman bil malaika. And al Imanu bil Kutub al And then uh, after that, al Imanu bil Rusuli alayhim salatu wa salam. And then and that's it. So all the way up until hadith number 114. So if you were to take just like the first 114 hadiths and memorize those, and while you're studying Tawheed, then alhamdulillah, you have all the evidence right here. All the evidence. And there's uh, so many different hadith that you, that you don't find in uh, Kitab Tawheed. Uh, you find some of these ahadith in uh, al wasatiyah but because uh, in al-Wasatiyya, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, he didn't narrate the whole hadith. He narrated bits of the hadith throughout the whole metan. He didn't, uh, you know, the main his main focus was in the first part of the book, where he was focusing on the ayat of the of the sifat. So he's, you know, he's going over all the different sifat and showing how many different times that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentioned these sifat sifat in the Quran. But when he went over the hadith, he just gave just a you know just a little piece of the hadith that deals with that sifa. That's it. So he didn't really go through the whole hadith. But here, at least now with this book, you can go and you can memorize it. And once you memorize this book, it's not saying that this is it. Like okay, you're done. Like you know you don't have to memorize anything else. But it it gives you that good standing as far as all the adilla that you're gonna need to deal with a lot of the issues that come up in in a, in a tawhid al uluhiyya and the asma'i wa sifat, and also in uh, all the different uh, affairs that come up, and uh, the different issues that come up in the al-akhirah, and you know, as far as like refutations of the different groups that have uh, have gone astray from amongst the, you know, from amongst them, the khawarij, the rafidah, the jahmiyyah, the mu'tazila, the ash'ariyah, a lot of the, uh, the the false beliefs that we have to deal with on a daily basis. Alhamdulillah, this will give you all the evidence that you need to 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 be able to fight off those uh, doubts that these people try to enter into your mind, you know, especially these people that never studied the religion and don't understand the religion. So spend your time with that. Spend your time. And like he said, uh, he mentioned that in his introduction. He said if a person were to memorize the Quran and memorize this book, then he has at least enough. Like I said, you don't have everything, but you what you have is sufficient. To be very, very uh, efficient in not just understanding Tawheed and Aqidah, but also giving da'wah to these two beautiful, beautiful, most very important uh, uh, sciences of knowledge in, in, in this day. Allah Musta'an. So this is a book I highly, highly recommend. Uh, although I'm not, uh, I'm, Allah Musta'an, I'm not really recommending the author per se, but I am recommending the book. And as far as the author, I, you know, like I said, not, my recommendation is not for the author. He was a student from Damaj, and I'm not going to go into detail of that, about that, because that's not the place for this. But right now, I would say that the book is is uh, is priced. It's a, it's a probably like I said, it's it, it, and and this uh, this uh, this uh, 
how can I say, this science of dealing with the, all the affairs of Tawheed and Aqidah, this is, this is the best that I've read. This is the best I've read. Uh, you know, they're just compiling all the. I mean, I've read better books, but they're also bigger. But I'm talking about a concise book. Because uh, we have another student from uh, Damaj, his name is Sheikh Abu Amr, Abu Amr al-Hajuri. He wrote a bigger book with the Asani, where he compiled all the ahadith going over the shurut of La ilaha illallah, and all the all the ahadith that were dealing with Tawheed with the Asani. And uh, no doubt, that's probably the best book that I've read, uh, that I've read through. But this is the best as far as memorization and preparing the student for everything that he needs to know to go through these books. Uh, wa ilahuna subhanakallamu wa bihamdika shadu wa la ilaha ila ant. أستغفرك وأتوب إليك